Hi, my name is Sydney Chapman and today I'm going to teach you proper wound care. Once you have checked the scene to make sure that it is safe, you have gained consent from the patient and a first aid kit has arrived. Uh, the first thing you do is you open it up and you apply gloves. And after you've applied gloves, you take some gauze and you apply direct pressure to the wound. After a few minutes, if you've noticed that they have bled through the first uh, piece of gauze, you want to apply more. You never want to take any gauze off. All you do is just continue to add more. Um, once you have controlled the bleeding, you want to take a roller gauze and you want to apply at a 45 degree angle. roll it in an X pattern. And then once you have got your mask, you want to wrap it around and either do a knot or some bunny ears, whatever you want to do. And then you are done. And then after that, you need to check for um, PMS and capillary refill on the patient to make sure that you have not um, wrapped it too tight. Um, capillary refill is you pinch their finger and once it's white, you let go and you see how long it takes for the blood to rush back for it to turn normal colors. Um, the PMS stands for pulse, motor, and sensory. Uh, pulse, you check their radial pulse. And then motory or motor, you ask them to wiggle their fingers, make sure they can still do that. Uh, sensory is you brush their hands, make sure they can feel that and there's no tingling or numbness that they feel. Um, and then once you feel like it is tight enough, but not too tight, um, you take your gloves off, you throw them in the trash and uh, wash your hands. If you're around somewhere with soap and water, that's preferable. If not, um, the hand sanitizer from the first aid kit will suffice.